Built for enthusiasts, master of tuning. For over 40 years, the 3 Series has been entirely devoted to the world of motorsport. The fourth generation BMW 335i is all about bringing power to those willing to work for it. With a thriving fan base and heavy investment in aftermarket support, tuning culture has become a staple of the E9X community. Known for its reliability, a light, highly tunable twin turbo inline six sits at the front of the 335i. With tuning potential of over 600 bhp on the stock block, What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video, man. It's your boy, King Vada. As you can see, man, I have my dream car with me here, man. Somebody almost hit me right here. How? Huh. Because I was turning like how you turn, and they came, they were speeding down here. Um, we're about to go to a, a parking lot location right now to show, show y'all the car. I really should go on top of that roof right there, but... Oh, that's... Oh, man, the aftermath... The aftermath of the, of the um, thing, damn. So uh, we're on our way to the parking lot, parking, parking, some some empty space. As you can see, bruh, I finally bought my dream car, man. Today we're here with uh, my BMW 335i N54 M Sport, man. So, hey, this is unbelievable, like, man, like, this is this is crazy to know that I did this on my own, man. It's just an unbelievable feeling. But I'm gonna show y'all around the car today um, and showcase different different features and things of that nature that I've kind of like found out a little bit so far. So come along with me. I'm gonna first show y'all the engine bay because you know this is a this is this is not an N55, none of that. Not a B58. This is N54, the beast itself. So. Y'all may be asking, whew, how much horsepower it got? Man, a lot, just a lot. Also, I just want to say like, this is, um, it's basically all stock. It just has a 70 inch intercooler. Um, but besides that, it's pretty like stock, I hope. <laughs> I'm gonna find out down the line. But um, I bought this car in Florida, so me and Theo took a trip. I'm gonna put clips in, but me and Theo took a trip down to Florida and that's how we got it, man. So um, let me start by showing y'all around the car. I kind of just showed y'all inside of it, I mean, in the bonnet already. But surprise, it's, it's, a, it's a manual, man. It's a stick shift, so you know, that's, once I got that, I'm good. So, um, I got the cup holders over here. Uh, and surprisingly, they work. Uh, and a lot of BMWs, they don't work. Um, this is a steering wheel, M Sport steering wheel. Engage. I'm planning on changing this um, to a different one. I mean, I like it, but I just I just want to change it to the one that I like more. Um, yeah, it's very small, bro. Like the car is very small for real. Like I could probably, I could reach the back. I probably can't reach right now because I got a suit on. You probably wondering why does he have a suit on and it's hot as heck. It's definitely hot as heck. But I had a lot of events going on at school today, and I had to get this video done. I've been wanting to shoot it for so long, so I was like, I might as well just do it now. It's the best time, man. Um, so like features like this is pretty cool you know like come on um it comes it has a sunroof has a sunroof okay guys so now i'm going to show you the back seat um at first i thought it didn't really have any space but 
let me show you all so this is how big it is and um i'm about six eight six ten myself and um you know and this is how i usually drive with my seat back and i could feel pretty comfortable like i'm not gonna lie like anybody that get the privilege of being back here lit i mean nobody gonna come back here because it's a coupe and that's why i bought a coupe but um Anybody, you know, that come back here, they have a good time, you know. You got a little armrest right here. You can put your arm right here. You're traveling in style for real. You got another armrest right here. No free promo. Got another armrest right here. And you got a cup holder. So, you know, it's, it's pretty comfortable. Your foot goes right under. And, yeah, like, like you feel me? You good. If you do get to go back there, ain't nobody going back there. Probably just Theo. You, you're going to be in the front. So you'll be good. But, um, um, oh yeah, it's a cool feature. When you open the door, the glass comes down. And when you close it, it goes up. Huh. So, the trunk, it's pretty spacious. It's pretty spacious. It came with this speaker right here. And you know what I found crazy is that this car, BMW, it doesn't come with the spare tires. Like, I was looking, I was so confused. I'm thinking maybe there's something under this, but there's not. It don't come with a spare tire. They come with run flats. And then this is like the manual and stuff. And it has this little cool thing right here. If you get locked in here somehow. Oh, okay, I can't, I can't fit in here. I can't fit in there. Can you fit in there? You wanna try going in there? But if you happen to, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, if you happen to get stuck in there, there's this little green thing right here. I will see you later. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Push it. Okay, but if if anybody ever lock you in one of these trunks, you could you have this little lever here that you can pull from the inside. So, um, yeah, I want to see the rims. All right, so come. So we got. BMW rims. I did a horrible job of cleaning them. This one's a little bit more dirty than this one. This one kind of a little cleaner. Then I got the big brakes. Did I mention? Did I mention it was a twin turbo? <laughs> Shimmy! So uh, I really don't know what else to show on the car. I mean, it has a nice sunroof. The sunroof is really nice. Let me show y'all how that works. <sighs> just gotta. Yeah. Hello there. Hello there. So that's pretty cool. Um, on the passenger side, you have a lot of space over there as well. On the passenger side, you know, it's the same. It's really the same thing. You get a lot of space as well. You know, you can fit very comfortable. Um, yeah. I mean, the guy, the, the previous owner, I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure if he changed these out, but I know sometimes they come with like this brown wooden thing here. So change it out to aluminum, but um, yeah, the car is really good. Um, this is inside there. Yeah, so pretty much, you know, this is, the interior. Um, I want to change out the radio to the Apple CarPlay version. Um. This car is amazing, like, whew. 
everything I thought it was plus some. Like, this is absolutely unbelievable that I was able to obtain this goal. Glory, everything, all my praises go to God. Like, this is amazing. So I'm also going to drop a video of me on the way to get the car. So stay tuned for that. But if y'all like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what mod I should first do to the car. Um, I appreciate y'all watching. We'll see you on the next video. KV and my boss, now I know what it takes. Uh, I'm living a lifestyle I can